Hello children, today I am here to read you a beautiful story from a book called Usbans Illustrated Stories from Around the World and name of our today's story is The Stone Cutter. Once upon a time there lived a humble stone cutter. He worked very hard, but he also crumbled all day long. The stone is too hard. I'm tired. I need a break. A passing mountain spirit heard him complain and stopped to listen to what he was saying. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, my arm hurts. Poor man, he sounds so unhappy, thought the mountain spirit. A few days later, a wealthy merchant visited the stone cutter. I'm building a wall in my garden. I will take 100 of your finest blocks. The stone cutter carried them block by block to the merchant's mansion. It was a magnificent sight. Wow! If only I were rich, said the stone cutter. Upon the cloud, the mountain spirit heard his wish. The mountain spirit smiled and raised his hand to grant his wish. And in the blink of an eye, the stone cutter was super rich. Now he had a beautiful, magnificent house too. And he didn't need to work. He could sit in his garden all day long instead. But still, he was not happy. It's too hot out here with the sun beating down on me. <sighs> I think I would like to be the sun. He said. The mountain spirit heard him and raised his hand again to grant his wish. And in the shower of sparks, the stone cutter became the bright sun. Flowers bloomed, children played. And everybody was happy. Even the stone cutter was happy. But soon he was grumbling again. And so was everyone else. As he shone down, the flowers turned brown. And the rivers dried up because of the heat. This is no fun, said the stone cutter's son. Just then, a cloud began to rain. Everybody cheered. Yo, it's raining, it's raining. Stone cutter said, I'm fed up being the sun. I think I would like to be the cloud. The mountain spirit smiled once again. He was a very patient soul. He waved his hand and granted the wish. And the stone cutter was a cloud. The stone cutter rained and rained and rained. The problem was, he didn't know how to stop. 
he could not stop raining. So what happened? Rivers overflowed and flooded the land. There was water everywhere. Soon, the water covered everything except the mountains. I wish I were a mountain, sighed the stone cutter. The mountain spirit smiled again and granted the wish. The stone cutter liked being a mountain. He liked the breeze ruffling through his grass hair and birds singing to him from a tree on the top of his head. At last, he was happy. Then, another stone cutter began to cut the chunks off him. Hey, stop that! Hey, stop that! Out! Oh, ah! He cried. But the other stone cutter could not hear him. I don't want to be a mountain anymore, he said. I wish I were a stone cutter. He started crying. The mountain spirit smiled one last time. He raised both of his hands. In an explosion of stars, the stone cutter was back where he started. He was a stone cutter again. How do you like this story, children? Do let me know. Keep listening. Good night.